Uh, here with Andrew Ross Sorkin of Squawk Box. Andrew, what was your earliest memory? My first memory, I think, but I, I always wonder whether it's because I've seen pictures so that I'm visualizing it, but we rented a house in Vermont. It was like a, an old farmhouse, it was, or maybe even more like a barn, and it had this circular staircase, very, a very sort of thin little staircase, and I, I must have been two and a half or three, and I remember falling or thinking I was falling off the staircase. The other possible one was, and I don't think this would be allowed anymore, there used to be a man in Central Park that we called the Cracker Man. He used to give out saltines to the children as we were, uh, you know, in the in the sandbox and we'd eat some of the saltines and give them out to uh, the pigeons and uh, feed the pigeons. So those are my, I don't know, I don't... How, so how old were you for the saltine guy? I think saltines probably was three, three and a half, and then I do remember learning to ride a bike in the parking lot of what was then Tavern on the Green. I think Tavern on the Green is now closed down. Um, or I, new ownership. I is remember it closed that, down or new ownership? I think, it's, I think it's being, maybe it's new ownership now, but I think they potentially went bankrupt and, and then were sold. So, um, And I remember distinctly being in the parking lot learning how to, uh, how to ride a bicycle. How old were you for that? I thought I was four, maybe four and a half. Is that right? When, when do you I don't know. I mean, I feel like you do everything faster than everyone else no, does. No, bi on, bi on the bicycle, I'm sure I, I, I came late. And so I, I grew up on Central Park West, yep. not far from you, actually, in the same building. Right. And I remember as a kid going out to the park right. with my younger brother, seven and nine years old, yep. no adults around. By the 80s, was that still happening? Because this was the no, 70s. No, 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 no. I had to go with my parents. Uh, I had to definitely go with my parents. I'll give you one last one. Uh, I had a friend uh, who I'm still friends with, Ben Silverman. His father was Fred Silverman, the former president of NBC back then. Who also lived in the building. Who also actually lived in Majestic, two blocks away. His father, Fred, had the NBC car, which was a limo, and had TVs in the back. Uh, Chester was the name of the driver, and I remember watching Sesame Street in the back of that car. Good memory. Okay, thank you.